Hi guys, so I just got home from work and I have everything I ordered this last week, um, which is a little surprising. Um, so I will be doing four different unboxings. Can you leave my tripod alone? I have a visitor. Okay, so let's get this started. I think I know what this is and I know what this is and I know what these are. Oh, okay, but we'll do these guys last. Uh, we'll do this one first. Alright. Uh, and then it's in another box. Maybe. Right. Like that. And this is... Yup, this is what I thought it was. Okay. So in here, I have probably some coupons, which will come in very handy. Um... As you can see, this is from Repeshi. Maybe. There you go. And this is Diet Supplements. It's their 2017 product catalog, which is really cool. I'll, I'll have to look through this later. Yeah, this is really cool. It's not as thick as I thought it'd be. I got some Bug Burger. Bluey diet, which is a blue tongue skink diet. Oh, cool. Well, that'll come in handy, but I'll get to that in a minute. There's something in there that I can actually probably buy. And I got another sticker. I already have one of these because I've ordered from them before. And this is Raced on Repeshi. So those are the stickers you get. This is your order. Yeah. This is your order. And this is specialty products. It's a hobbyist thank you letter. Can you leave my camera alone? So the product that I bought, I bought one before and it lasted almost a year. It would have lasted longer at the time I had sold. Well, I didn't sell it. Um, but I had rehomed one of my younger geckos because it turned out to be male and I couldn't keep any more males. So I had taken some of this and put it in one of the regular bottles for, um, for the girl who took it home. Uh, so there's quite a bit of this missing, actually. Um, but this is just Repeshi Gecko Diet. Why is it? Give me one sec. I'm going to close my curtain because it looks like it's making everything else really dark because it's so bright outside. If that helps. Oh yeah, that helped a lot. Okay. So this is what I bought. And it's a 12 ounce thing of Repeshi. Just the Crested Echo Diet. So that's what was in the first bag. And then this really cool pamphlet. That's what was in the first package. This one I'm excited for, and I might do a setup video for it, but then I might not, just depending on, um, well, that'd be three videos of just today, and I don't really want to do that. Um, but I may do a setup on it. Well, we'll see. Last, um, uh, setup video I did took way too long, um, and that was the, uh, yeah, here it is, cool, that was the, um, turtle filter, um, installation, 
so I bought, and all of this is off of Amazon. Um, the Rapeshi actually came from the Rapeshi company through Amazon. Um, and then the critters that I have actually came through their breeders. So, um, they're just on Amazon. Um, I got a 40 gallon submersible fish filter. Um, and it's got a, like a nozzle that you can pop up and have it flow out of the water, which will be really helpful because I've been having a lot of, um, surface scum, kind of, or kind of like that oily texture, and I think it's because the water surface isn't moving. Um, so hopefully, oh, this is really nice. Here's the top of it. This is the actual motor, and here's the, um, I don't know how to use it. <laughs> Oh, cool. You can turn the, um, outtake around. That's cool. And then here is the actual, um, filter itself. And I'd like to see what we have in here. Maybe. It'll let me. There we go. Oh, cool. So here's a big, like, stringy cat stuff, like fish waste and things like that will get stuck on here. And then here we have some, yeah, cool, there's some carbon in here. And then um, just a sponge. Yeah, there we go. So cool, these both have carbon in them. And then you have the sponge filters. I don't think I'll do a setup video for this just because I did one not too long ago. Oh boy, how's this going here? Okay. So it goes like this. And this. Give me a sec. There. All fixed. And then this just goes. Guess my honey, you need to stop. Like that. And this is supposed to... I don't want to break it, though. I'll have to look at the instructions. Okay, so there's that. Um, and there is a pamphlet in here on how to do all that. So, I'll be looking at that later. And like I said, I'm probably not going to do an installation video for this because I just did one on the um, turtle filters. Um, if you'd like a product review later, let me know. Um, actually, I may just do that anyway. I'll do a, yeah, I'll do the, I'll do the, um, review later. So that's those two. And here, this is Life Pets. Um, I have unboxed some critters from this company before, so you can probably already guess what they are. If you've watched my videos, um, these are some more isopods. They're just normal, like, wild isopods. Of course, they're bred in captivity, but they have the wild look. So, here's my receipt. Thank you for blah, blah, blah. Um, oh, cool. They have all their, um, <laughs> excuse my cat, they have all their, um, species listed on here now. So you can get the pill bug, polka dot, you can get the zebra, which are really cool, you can get the Dalmatian, which is what I have, 
and then they also have a smoothie, an orange smoothie, and then they have giants, which are about the size of your thumb, and then they also have hits and cockroaches. And then they have a bunch of their other stuff labeled. But that's really cool. Um, and like I said in the past, this company was started um, through the idea of this lady's seven-year-old kid, so she kind of has a lot to <laughs> thank her kid for, because <laughs> it, it's become a very successful um, business. So here's the isopods, and I absolutely love the way that they package these. Put that there. Oh boy, we're gonna make a mess here. Oh, wait a minute. Alright. Cool, so here's my little deli cup. I put my name on it, a little smiley face. And I can already see some of them, and they are alive, which is really good. Uh, I'm going to dump them in this Critter Keeper for now, just so I can get an actual count on them, because last time I had ordered five of that Dalmatian, and they actually sent me ten. So, cool. Um, I'm going to put them in here to get an actual number count of them. And I actually got two. Oh, six. So, I should have 60 of these, because I ordered two of them. So this is the first one. And then I had ordered the other one a little bit later. And it was kind of surprising that they had both gotten here on the same day. Oh yeah, I think that's more than 30. We will see, though. So there's that one. And what's really cool about these is if I can get cultures of my own going, going um, I'd like to get some of the hippos cultured. Because our bearded dragon, I had just taken him to the vet and he actually has a really bad pinworm infestation. So he goes back the 21st and I'm going to call up and ask if I can bring um, Deanie, my basilisk, and the chameleon and our turtle myrtle. And just to get them medicated as a precaution because I don't want them getting sick like he did. He got really, really sick. He's already doing a lot better. He's only been on medication for three days and he's already a ton better. Um, so that's good. And then here we have just the same pamphlet, thank you letter, all that good biz. And here we have our little deli cup. And I'm just going to pop this open. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you guys can see them or not. Yeah, there you go. They're super cute. I know they're just normal, but uh, they're still really cute. Gizmo, can you stop breaking stuff? Hey! She's just going to keep doing it. Okay. So I'm going to leave them in here for a little bit and get a count on them. Um, I'll probably put the count in the description if you guys are interested, just so you can know exactly how many they'll probably send you if you order. Um, but these guys are going to be a cleanup crew for my snake. Um, not that he really needs them that much, but um, just in case. Oh, there's actually babies in here. Oh, that's really cool. There's little tiny white um, nymphs, I think is what they're called. Here's a... There's a roly-poly. And they knocked him back over. He was having trouble getting off of his back. These are actually really cool. They're not like wild roly polies. They're a little more flat and disc shaped. But um, they're really cool. Alright. So that is it for the unboxings. Um, I will probably be doing a setup video. As I've said, that's what this is. Um, and I will see you guys later.